The World Health Organization announced Friday it had granted an emergency use listing for the coronavirus vaccine made by Johnson & Johnson. The move means the one-dose shot can now theoretically be used as part of the international COVAX effort to distribute vaccines globally, including to developing countries with no supplies. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus is the WHO's Director General. Equitable distribution of vaccines remains the biggest threat to ending the pandemic and driving a global recovery. The WHO has previously signed off on COVID-19 vaccines developed by Pfizer-BioNTech and AstraZeneca. President Joe Biden and top Democrats took time Friday to celebrate passage of his $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief package into law. AP Sagar Magani reports. In a Rose Garden victory lap, the theme was clear from Congress's leaders. Promise made, promise fulfilled. Help is on the way. Vice President Harris. Help has arrived. And the president. Help is here. Saying Americans will start seeing it this weekend in the form of $1,400 payments. But even as he celebrated, the president warned the devil is in the details. The nation now needs to see that its government knows what to do with the $1.9 trillion. We have to get this right. He'll hit the road next week to sell the plan's benefits in what the White House is calling the Help is on the Way Tour. Sagar Magani, Washington. A mixed day on Wall Street. The Dow was up 0.9 percent. The S&P gained 0.1 percent. But the Nasdaq lost 0.59 percent. President Joe Biden and fellow leaders of the Indo-Pacific Alliance known as the Quad have announced a plan to expand coronavirus vaccine manufacturing capacity in India. We're launching an ambitious new joint partnership that is going to uh, boost vaccine manufacturing and uh, for the global benefit and strengthen vaccinations uh, to uh, benefit the entire Indo-Pacific. Meanwhile, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi stressed the need for an inclusive Indo-Pacific. The Quad has come of age. It will now remain an important pillar of stability in the region. The push was announced at a virtual meeting Friday of the leaders of Australia, India, Japan and the United States. Each of the four nations has a complex, if not strained, relationship with Beijing. Protesters demanding the end of the military junta in Myanmar kept up their momentum on Friday despite a heavy death toll the previous day when police opened fire on crowds in a number of cities. In Mandalay, about 2,000 people marched through the city calling for the restoration of democracy and the release of civilian leaders. They were bolstered by the presence of a number of monks. Meanwhile, in Yangon, riot police fired tear gas as they moved to disperse a protest against the coup. The demonstrators were immediately surrounded by thick vapor from fire extinguishers as they retreated. Myanmar has been roiled by protests, strikes, and other acts of civil disobedience since the military toppled Aung San Suu Kyi's civilian government February 1st, just as it was about to start its second term. Authorities say gunmen have attacked a school in northwestern Nigeria and kidnapped at least 30 students just weeks after a similar attack in the region. AP's Zaria Shackley reports. Authorities say gunmen have attacked a school in northwestern Nigeria and kidnapped at least 30 students just weeks after a similar attack in the region. Police say the latest abduction took place late Thursday night at the Federal College of Forestry Mechanization, AFACA, in the Gabi local government area of Kaduna State. The state's Commissioner for International Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruvan, said in a statement about 30 students, a mix of males and females, are yet to be accounted for. He added that several staff of the school were also kidnapped. Aruan said the attack was carried out by a large group of armed bandits, adding that the military engaged the attackers and were able to take 180 staff and students to safety. I'm Zaria Shakili.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.